Hey Cosmic Explorers, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most astonishing discoveries in recent space exploration. A discovery so mind-boggling, it's forcing us to rewrite our understanding of our place in the universe. We're talking about a wall at the very edge of our solar system. A boundary so scorching hot, it reaches temperatures of 50,000 Kelvin. And guess who found it? Our intrepid ancient but still kicking heroes, the Voyager probes. For decades, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft have been on an epic journey, pushing the boundaries of human exploration. Launched way back in 1977, these plucky probes were designed for a grand tour of the outer planets. They gave us our first close-up looks at Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, revealing stunning moons, intricate ring systems, and previously unimaginable planetary weather. But their mission didn't end there. Oh no! These venerable machines kept going, venturing into the vast, unknown expanse beyond our planetary neighborhood. For years, scientists theorized about the heliosphere, a giant magnetic bubble created by our sun's continuous outpouring of charged particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind streams outward, forming a protective shield around our solar system, essentially pushing back against the interstellar medium, the gas and dust that exists between stars. The theoretical boundary where the solar wind's influence finally wanes, where it meets the pressure of the interstellar medium, is called the heliopause. Think of it like a giant cosmic beach ball, inflated by the sun's breath, floating in the ocean of interstellar space. But knowing something theoretically and actually experiencing it are two very different things. And that's where the Voyagers come in. Voyager 1, the faster of the two, officially crossed into interstellar space on August 25th, 2012, becoming the first human-made object to ever do so. Six years later, in November 2018, Voyager 2 followed suit, confirming many of Voyager 1's initial findings and providing a crucial second data point from a different location. Wall of Fire! And what they found at the heliopause was absolutely jaw-dropping. Scientists had predicted a boundary, a transition, but the sheer intensity of what they encountered was beyond most expectations. As the Voyagers pushed through this cosmic frontier, their instruments detected a sudden and dramatic spike in temperature. We're talking about plasma reaching an astounding 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin. To put that into perspective, that's hotter than the surface of many stars. This isn't fire in the traditional sense, like a roaring blaze here on Earth. There's no oxygen out there to fuel a flame. Instead, this wall of fire is made of incredibly sparse, superheated plasma, charged particles moving at extreme speeds. Imagine individual particles zipping around with incredible energy, colliding and transferring that energy as heat. The key here is density. While the temperature of these individual particles is immense, the density of the plasma is incredibly low. So low, in fact, that the Voyagers, despite passing through this furnace, remained unharmed. They literally sailed through a cosmic blast furnace without melting. So, what's causing this intense heat? It's the culmination of a colossal cosmic collision. As the supersonic solar wind, traveling at hundreds of kilometers per second, slams into the slower-moving, denser interstellar medium, it creates a turbulent region. This collision, combined with complex magnetic field interactions and compression, forces the particles into a higher energy state. It's like a cosmic shockwave, where kinetic energy is converted into thermal energy, resulting in this searing hot plasma. But the temperature wasn't the only surprise. Scientists also expected a dramatic shift in the direction of the magnetic field once the probes exited the heliosphere. After all, you're moving from the sun's magnetic dominion into the wider galactic magnetic field. Yet, 
both voyagers observed something completely different. The magnetic field just beyond the heliopause was found to be almost parallel to the magnetic field inside the heliosphere. This was a profound revelation, suggesting a much stronger and more intricate connection between our Sun's magnetic influence and the broader magnetic environment of our galaxy than previously thought. It challenges existing models of how our solar system interacts with the interstellar medium and could have significant implications for how we understand cosmic ray shielding. This magnetic surprise is more than just an academic curiosity. The heliosphere acts as a crucial shield, deflecting harmful cosmic radiation that constantly bombards our solar system from distant supernovae and other high-energy cosmic events. Understanding the precise nature of this boundary, including its magnetic properties and the presence of this wall of fire, is vital for predicting space weather, designing future deep space missions, and ensuring the safety of long-duration human spaceflight. If our protective bubble works in ways we don't fully grasp, that knowledge is critical for our journey into the cosmos. The fact that these probes, launched nearly five decades ago with technology that's ancient by today's standards, are still sending back such groundbreaking data is nothing short of miraculous. They operate on nuclear power, with instruments drawing as little as four watts each, less than a typical night light. And the data trickles back to Earth at a snail's pace, sometimes as slow as 160 bits per second. Yet, this small stream of information is fundamentally changing our cosmic address book. The Voyagers have paved the way for future missions. NASA's Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, or IMAP, is set to launch around 2026. It will observe the heliopause from the inside, giving us a different perspective on this dynamic boundary. And even further down the line, scientists are sketching out plans for an ambitious interstellar probe, a mission designed to travel even faster and farther than the Voyagers, with cutting-edge instruments to explore this firewall and the interstellar medium in unprecedented detail. The Voyagers are more than just spacecraft. They are emissaries. They carry golden records, time capsules filled with sounds and images of Earth, intended for any extraterrestrial civilization that might one day encounter them. They are a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and our insatiable curiosity about the universe. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember those two tiny dots billions of miles away, still pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. Remember the 50,000 Kelvin wall they discovered, and how it's reshaping our understanding of the solar system's edge. The universe is full of surprises, and thanks to Voyager, we're slowly but surely unraveling its deepest mysteries. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more cosmic adventures, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive. Until then, keep exploring and keep looking up.